Hey fellow world wearers, it's a great turtle and I'm coming back with follow up to yesterday video anti-armor versus bloodied uh, for two reasons because there was a lot of awesome comments from you and I was able to find a situations and weapons that perform better with anti-armor than bloodied variant and on top of everything I mess up the last test on previous video when i was going for gatling plasma the final test with boosted damage some of you noticed and that's my fault absolutely i forgot to swap back heavy gunner perks after swapping back heavy gunner perks and repeating the test with the same buffs as you know all three heavy gunner perks i didn't swap them on i was running with shotgunner perks then that's 60 percent damage bonus Result was opposite. Anti-armor Gatling Plasma was doing slightly more damage than bloodied Gatling Plasma. Then it makes a difference. More bonuses you add, the more difference you can see. Therefore, in today's test, I will as well add adrenaline. I will spend some time killing six enemies before I will do test. And we will see some other weapons and how big is a difference in case of anti-armor versus bloodied in this scenario, when I will be heavily boosted on damage, I will keep the boosts that I was using yesterday, what means Bubblehead will be running still and Awesome Tails, Damage versus Super Mutants will be running. And top of, top of that, I will stack fully Adrenaline and I will be using Psycho Buff, therefore it's a heavy damage boost. There's trench in numbers here, I own a team, I have all the damage boosts I can really use and now the results will be in favor of anti-armor and let me show you how much and of course we'll start from the gatling plasma because that was a mess up test on the last run and now i will do it right now we have full effect of adrenaline 60 percent damage and we are starting with anti-armor gatling plasma i just need to quickly swap weapons to get full magazine as i have server with Oh, he moved. Okay, we'll, we'll repeat the test on, on fresh one. Let's see how fast we can kill one super mutant. And it took us like 29 bullets with this one. Let's swap quickly for bloodied. He ran in here. Let's see if there will be a difference. He's dead and it took us 32 bullets. Then you can see that's in favor now of anti-armor. Another weapon that I decided to add to this test as it was on your request as well. Plasma caster. Okay, let's see how many shots by your request it will take to kill super mutant with anti-armor plasma caster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine nine shots we'll test with that's critical in a moment but first without then we have nine shots as you can see blood it ready and i give myself free ap to do this test now this one one two three four five six seven eight nine was nine as well then mix damage weapon it's the same amount of shots and you asked me as well to test plasma caster in vats versus headshots with some criticals then one two three four five six shots and that was two criticals with a bloody this time i still have bloody equipped let's test with anti-armor three four oh come on and now anti-armor two three four five shots it's better that's with criticals mixed damage it is stronger the win for anti-armor and just very quickly here to save your time plasma rifle it's exactly the same situation as with plasma caster it's the same it's stronger when you use it in vats and you have high damage boost if you use it without VATS and you don't have really highly boosted damage, Bloodied is slightly better, otherwise anti-armor is better. Then same situation as Plasma Caster. And now for the grand finale, the Fixer. 
the, I found a situation that there is like a sweet spot for anti-armor fixer. First, try to quickly explain that and then I will show you in practice how it works. Basically, when you have highly armored enemy that you are attacking and your anti-armor fixer is highly boosted up to the point that basically you are achieving 100% armor penetration. I will not go deep into calculation, but ballistic damage calculation have like this sweet spot when you are achieving 100% armor penetration. What's not happening with energy weapons, but it is happening with ballistic weapons. And in the same time, enemy is tanky enough that the bloodied version without extra 50% armor penetration is not able to achieve 100% damage penetration. That's a sweet spot when anti-armor fixer will outperform bloodied. And in practice, I will be honest, that will probably only happen for you if you fight Colossus or Scorch Beast Queen. As other enemies are just too squishy. If you already have tank killer per card at using perforating magazine and highly boosted bloodied, then probably bloodied will outperform anti-armor. Now with my very high boost, Fixer have 168 damage base, plus of course all the sneak attacks. And now we hit him once, oh, two, three. Oh, come on. And now we hit the super mutant in the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots. Seven shots, no criticals, just all the sneak boost with anti-armor. And now we are swapping to the bloodied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. Eight shots with bloodied. And now we add the critical damage, the mix. Okay, we'll actually swap back to anti-armor. Keep the same order this time. Now we go for the test with criticals. First shot will be without critical. Oh, that's also a miss. Need to be a hit. It's anti-armor, first shot without critical. Then we go crit, regular, crit, regular, crit, regular shot. Seven shots. Seven shots. Now the bloodied. Again, regular shot. Crit, regular, crit, regular, crit, and regular shots. Uh, the same. Yeah, I think it's so close that all in this perfect situation with the sweet spot is helping a little bit. Looks like those criticals are doing enough damage that the difference is undermined. And uh, seven shots anyway. Then, yeah, in case of ballistic weapons, that's very specific scenario when anti armor will be stronger than bloodied. Otherwise, they, I would call them almost equal. Almost equal. It's too specific when anti-armor can actually win. But for mixed damage and energy damage on top of high damage boost, anti-armor is a winner. And that's like a part two for my yesterday video. I apologize for the mistake at the end that I forgot to swap the perks. And basically the test result was invalid as there was no 60% damage boost that's supposed to be there. Changing the results. That's why today I'm doing this video and I added another 60% from Adrenaline. And you can see when the damage boost is really, really high, the energy weapon with anti-armor perform way better than energy weapon with a bloodied. Yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you a lot for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.